Welcome to Building Instagram. This is the course that I have been asked to put out for the past, I wanna say year and a half now, and I really wanted to take time to build it and polish it as much as possible. And we're finally at the day where I can say that that is done. So I wanna cover three things in this overview. The first one, what is this course and what are we gonna cover? I wanna be very specific. Second, we're gonna cover who is this for. Third, we'll talk about you know what's included as well as you know a little bit of pricing and all that fun stuff. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, what are we gonna be doing in this course? Well, the title should hopefully give it away. We're gonna be building out a Instagram client with Swift 5, Firebase, and UI Kit. So no Swift UI, this is a UI kit geared course because that is still the uh, technology that's used more you know, popularly in industry and that's what most people have asked for. So what are we specifically going to be building in terms of functionality? So we're gonna of course get started here with a authentication system. So signing in, signing up, and signing out. So we're gonna be supporting email and password and of course a user when they sign up, they pick a username because this is indeed Instagram. They can also go ahead and upload a profile picture and they can then you know have an account. So once a user has an account, what do we have next? Of course we have a feed. This feed is going to cover not only the intricate layouts of the UI component we're using here, but we are also going to tie it into our backend. So what I mean by that is we're not just mocking the data here and showing dummy data, we're going to be showing the posts from the users that the current user is following. So we'll put together all of the fetch calls for the backend, we're gonna be sorting everything chronologically by the time they were posted, all of these action buttons that you see here are interactive and hooked up. So the user can double tap to like, they can tap this action button to like, they can go ahead and tap on the comment option here which will open up the post as well as share the post. At the very top here you can see that we'll also be building out the stories UI and we'll talk about how to nest these UI components together. Before moving forward, the one thing I will also call out is we will try, um, or that we will be using the MVVM architecture pattern, which is model, view, view model, and we're gonna try to keep a very clean boundaries between each of the different types of objects, not only to kind of share how, you know, you would do this at scale with a larger app like this, but also to be a little more uh, organized with our code. So moving along from the feed, we come to explore. So here we're gonna talk about this intricate layout here and how to build it in a performance manner. We'll also be tying this directly with our backend. So all the posts you see here are not mock data, they're actually coming from our uh, backend storage as well as database. At the top here, we'll also build out search. So if you wanna search for another user, which presumably you do to follow, we can go ahead and search for them, we can tap on the user, and we can open up their profile. So this is a nice segue into the profile. So in the profile here, you can see basically we're gonna build out everything, the header, the bio, editing, following, unfollowing, you know, the whole nine yards. So from the profile, you can go ahead and if you're on yours, you can change the profile picture. You can also tap into the followers and following list. You can go ahead and edit your profile if it's yours. And if you're on someone else's profile, you can choose to follow or unfollow them. Moving along, we're also gonna fully support notifications. The three types we'll be supporting is a comment, a like, as well as someone started following you. These will also be hooked up directly to the database as well as the system to create these notifications and insert them. So you can also tap on these. They are fully interactive to see the uh, related post as well as you know unfollow or follow somebody. Moving back to the profile, you can tap into any of these posts here, wherever you tap into a post in the app, it'll open up the detail screen for the post where not only can you see you know, the details, but you can comment. Full commenting is indeed supported where you can go ahead and you see the UI here, we can tap in a comment and type and we can hit done and it'll go ahead and post our comments. Moving to the more interesting part or the interesting part that I think is you know a little more special and that is a custom camera. 
So we're not gonna be using you know, an image picker controller for those of you who are familiar, it's kind of the out of the box component. We're gonna be building out a complete custom camera and we're also gonna be adding in support of course for filtering. I'll show you guys how to add a black and white filter for example here. And then we're gonna also add the ability for the user to add captions. Moving back to the main camera UI here, you'll also get the option to upload a photo from the photo library. So overall, this is what we will be building. These are the main area components, and let's talk about some more specifics. So I mentioned the MVVM architecture pattern. The other thing that I will call out is we're gonna be doing an optimization section also where we review unit testing, as well as things like analytics because in a professional landscape, you would need all those things and the concepts around those, so we're definitely gonna cover those. In addition, for our backend, like I mentioned, we'll be using Firebase, but more specifically, the services we'll be using are Firebase Analytics, Firestore for the database, which is a document-based database, Firebase Storage, as well as Firebase Authentication. In terms of other dependencies we're gonna bring in, we'll show you how to download images directly as well as with a dependency, and that's basically it. Everything else is from scratch. You're gonna be writing a ton of code and hopefully you'll learn different patterns along the way. So who is this course for? So this is always a loaded question, which is a little difficult to answer admittedly, but I would say this is definitely not for absolute beginners. I'm not gonna be talking about what's an optional, what's a guard, uh, what is overriding a function mean, right? However, this is not also for super advanced developers. I would say if this was a scale from zero to 10, zero being you know complete beginner and 10 being super advanced, I would peg this at about a four. So having a little bit of Swift working and iOS uh, working knowledge will definitely help. However, if you're not fully there, you can definitely still follow along and uh, figure things out. If you are an intermediate developer, this is still something that you would benefit from because you'll get to see how to put a whole app together from scratch. And admittedly, it's not a simple app. There are a lot of different components that interact with each other. We'll be doing things like delegate patterns and closures and dispatch groups, a lot of concurrency. So there's definitely things that you know, will be covered on the intermediate side. So that's who this is for. Once again, it's gonna be in Swift, so no Objective-C. I don't wanna have any confusion with that. And finally, what are you gonna get out of this course and how much does it cost? So what are you gonna get out of it? Well, you're gonna get the 50 plus videos here. All of them are categorized so you can, you know, pause and pick up wherever you would like to. You're going to be getting all of the project code. Um, so you can just download the whole project and refer to what I have built out in the course. And other than that, you're gonna be getting uh, support from myself if you have any questions or comments, concerns, you can always reach out to iOS Academy for support. And that brings me to how much does this cost? So this question, like I've said in my other videos and my other courses, I like to keep things priced fairly for not only the time and effort that gets invested into building these courses, but also so it's accessible to the majority of people. I fully understand that not everyone resides here in the US or even in Europe. So the price in terms of the you know hours of videos that I put together, uh, and of course subject to change as you know things might evolve over the next many years, um, will be, uh, for an early bird price, so if you pre-order, um, you get early access, will be $79.99, and the full price will be $99.99. So $100 USD or $80 USD, based on if you get it early access or if you get it at the full price. So how did I come up with those numbers? Uh, I wanna say there are at least 10 plus hours of video on here, if not more. The type of course, what you're gonna be getting out of it, and comparing that to something that you would maybe pay for at a boot camp or a college, um, which would be tens of thousands of dollars, that's how I reason about the pricing. So other than that, that's really all I've got for you guys. I have a really uh, sweet trailer that I put together to give a brief overview um, about you know, the various interactions and parts of the application. So we'll roll that trailer now. I hope I see you here in the course. If you have any questions, there are FAQs on the course page, or you can always reach out at hello at iosacademy.io. See you in the course.